Well, thank you both for that uh, for those performances. Uh, could I just ask a, a, a couple of questions? Um, uh, it seems like uh, uh, you both had very varied careers, but this perhaps you, you in, in a lot of television, Kate, and Matt, you've done a lot of musicals before. But I have the impression this is uh, something of a departure for both of you. Is that, would that be a fair statement? Well, I've never done a musical before, so <laughs> it's a big departure for me. I have played characters, though, that have um, had mental illness, so uh, um, those character paths are um, a well-worn trajectory for me, but this musical is something um, that I've never, ever experienced before. I've never experienced the impact it has on audiences. I've never had um, such a wonderful time with such a wonderful cast, and I think that the, the music is so beautiful in this show that d despite the fact that what I actually go through every night is quite um, extreme, I always feel, whilst a little weary at the end of it, I do really feel invigorated and I think that says a lot about the nature of theatre and the nature of um, this particular music, but also music in general. Uh, I would say a lot of the similar things that Kate said. I, I, I find myself getting caught up in this piece more than I ever have before. I mean, whether it's on the Playhouse stage or whether it's the, the press club, I find myself just falling into it. Uh, I've seen the show on Broadway and it, it affected me very deeply. And I, I, the thing that I'm finding different about this is the responsibility with the way that it is impacting on people in a, in a real way. It, it's, it's a stunning privilege to, as an actor to be able to do something that actually resonates truthfully with an audience. And if we can raise awareness or, or, or reduce some of the stigma attached to mental illness, even in the slightest way, I mean, who would have thought that a musical could do that? But the arts most certainly can. And if this piece is allowing us to have that privilege, and it's, it really is an honour, and, and I encourage you all to come and see it. And, and it deals not only with mental illness directly, doesn't it, but also there are broader themes of family, relationships, grief, loss, and those sorts of uh, things. Have you found the... Uh, the reaction of audiences uh, and the f the what sort of specific feedback have you been getting from people? Is it different from other shows you've done? Yeah, I mean, it, it is. A a and I guess that I would have thought that it would resonate more with people actually dealing directly with the illness, but it really is... It seems to be touching people that are dealing with people that are dealing with the illness. And, of course, it makes so much sense when you say it, but, I mean, people come up to me after nearly every performance with, with tears welling in their eyes, saying that they feel validated, that they feel more understood or that's it's like this silence the silence that they have to deal with they're not the ones with the problem in inverted commas but they i mean they are it's just as debilitating for them so uh, it, it, that's extraordinary and I, I say it again i mean it's it's a very powerful experience and kate how have you found working with uh, with a uh, otherwise uh, or a pretty young cast uh, straight out of the uh, west australian performing arts school well, they've got it all over me in terms of musical experience. So they've come straight out of WAPA, which is a, a, a three-year course and where they study music and learn how to sing songs and stuff like that. And, but they're just a divine group of people and uh, we, we don't really have an ego. I mean, we have a slight egos, of course, with Matt. So that's hard. But, um, <laughs> but we, and Bert occasionally, Bert Labonte. But um, we really have um, a, such a beautiful group of people to work with and... Uh, we have a lot of fun. I mean, you have to understand that when we're dealing with these stuff, it's, it's very... It can be heavy. I mean, ultimately, I really want to say that it's, it is uplifting and I think it's very cathartic, ultimately. But if you're... When, when you're rehearsing, which is often for eight hours a day for six days a week, you need to have uh, outlets that, that can actually release the valve before you sort of start to take on some of this stuff at yourself. And we have a wonderful cast to do that, led by Matt, because he's a great joke teller. And <laughs> but no, it's, it's a beautiful group of people to work with. Yeah, so, it, it, as you say, it's, uh, it, it is quite a, a graphic show. And I think there are, for example, dealing with, with things such as electric shock therapy, which uh, is perhaps not the usual sort of subject <laughs> one sees in a, in a Broadway musical. Um, uh, did you find that a particularly difficult uh, sort of aspect to deal with? Um, I, I did, although I don't... I mean, I'm, I think it'd be naive to think that anyone has just has not been affected by mental illness in some way, whether it's directly or indirectly. And my, um, I had a family member who went through that 20, 30 years ago, electric shock treatment, and had um, lots of depression and, and bipolar and other things as well. And, 
and I think that it is probably was quite different then uh, than it is now. But I drew on some personal experience because I just didn't want to portray this woman um, through the reading I'd done and through the research I'd done as a as just someone who went through that experience and just had a vague response to it. I ha it's, it's our responsibility to be as specific or as human and, and personal as we can with it. And I was um, I was able to draw on that. And um, and and try to treat it with as much respect and sensitivity as I could, um, and I'm sure it's very different for every individual. I read Barry Dickens' book, and he had went through electric shock treatment as well, and he had a very personal response to it. But it's quite interesting. Um, obviously, every individual has different responses, but um, it was important to me that I try to be as specific as I could and as um, as um, honest as I could in in trying to um, give it the respect that uh, give the character the respect that she deserved, and people who also suffer from it and families who suffer from it. Okay, well, uh, if I can if I can ask you, please, uh, uh, thanks uh, once again to uh, Kate Kendall and Matt Hetherington for a terrific performance today. <laughs> <laughs>